Hello and welcome to this AVG video tutorial. This tutorial will guide you through the process of removing an infection from your computer using AVG Rescue CD. Let's say we have a situation where our PC is infected and for some reason it's not possible to remove the infection using standard methods. In other words, there is no AVG or any other antivirus program installed on the computer, nor is it possible to install one. In our example, we're using a malware testing file called iCAR, located on the User Files folder. In cases like this, we can use the AVG Rescue CD to scan the computer and remove the infection. Just insert the medium with the prepared AVG Rescue CD and restart the computer. When your computer is booting, information similar to this should be displayed on your monitor. We want to initiate the boot menu, so we have to press the F8 key as instructed. Please note that this screen may vary depending on your motherboard manufacturer, and the keys associated with the boot menu selection may also vary. So be sure to check the options and instructions displayed on your screen. Also note that you have to be quite quick to press the necessary key, as these options will be active for just a few seconds. Now, using the up or down arrow keys on your keyboard, select the source you want to boot from. Select the CD-ROM drive if you've created an AVG Rescue CD from the ISO image on a CD or DVD. Or select Removable Devices if you have extracted the AVG Rescue CD to a USB flash drive. In our case, we have plugged in a bootable USB flash drive, so we have to select the Removable Devices option. Press Enter to confirm your choice. The AVG Rescue CD will display a welcome screen. You can proceed directly by pressing Enter or by waiting 10 seconds. If you need to specify any additional parameters, press F1. We will view these additional options by pressing the F1 key. Here, you can see what the boot options or other command line keystrokes are. We'll use the ARL keystroke to boot from the AVG Rescue CD. We'll confirm our choice by pressing Enter. The next step is to accept the license agreement. We recommend reading the license agreement in its entirety. You can scroll down using the down arrow key. If you understand and accept the license agreement, press Enter. During the actual booting, AVG Rescue CD will automatically mount all hard drives on the computer. The network connection will also be automatically set. In the next step, you will be asked if you want to update AVG. We recommend that you do this. Just press the Enter key to initiate the update procedure. If you have a working internet connection, perform the online update. This will automatically download the necessary files. If the computer is not connected to the internet, you can update from files previously downloaded from the AVG webpage and stored on the computer or on a USB flash drive. Here you can select the priority of the update. We'll keep the default priority too. Now launch the update. The update is now in progress. After the update is finished, just press any key on your keyboard. To return from the update menu, select the return option using the right arrow key. And then confirm by pressing enter. After the booting and updating procedure is finished, you'll be presented with a simple user interface. To navigate between the options, use the arrow keys and confirm your selections by pressing Enter. To start a scan of the computer, select the Scan option from the user interface. Because it is selected by default, just confirm this option by pressing Enter. Here you can select whether to scan whole volumes on your hard drives, or just selected directories. In this example, we will only scan the selected directory because we know where our infection is located.
Here you can see all mounted volumes. As we have only one volume on the computer, we just have to confirm this selection by pressing enter. Information on working with the directory selection menu is shown in this step. This screen displays some basic help. Now, using the tab key, switch to the directories window. Use the down arrow key to select the needed directory. In this example, we want to scan the user files directory. After the desired directory is selected, confirm the selection by pressing the spacebar. You can see that the name of the directory you want to scan appears in the directories window. Now confirm the start of the scan by pressing enter. In the scan option dialog, you can change the behavior of the scan. We'll keep the default values. You can interrupt the scan at any time by pressing Ctrl C. The scan progress will be displayed. Once finished, we can see the scan report. Now, press any key to continue. Here, we're informed that an infection has been detected. In the Scan Result menu, select how to handle the infection. We'll select the Individual option. In this dialog, you can see what file was detected as infected and the name of the infection. Because we know what kind of infection it is, and the infected file is not an essential one, we can simply delete it. If you're not sure what to do, you can always select the Rename option. Such renamed files are then harmless for your PC, and you can always restore them if needed. So select the desired action and confirm by pressing Enter. In this dialog, you're asked if you really want to delete this file. We can confirm the deletion. The file has now been deleted. Now, we'll go back to the main menu. Select the Return option using the right arrow key and confirm by pressing Enter. Again, select the return option and confirm it. Now, we are back to the main menu. You can use the additional options and tools that are available. Because we have already removed the infection from the computer, we can exit the AVG Rescue CD. Use the right arrow key to highlight the Exit option and press Enter to confirm the selection. Yes, we really want to quit. In the final dialog, we're informed that by using the ARL command, we can start the AVG Rescue CD again. You can visit our web pages, download installation files and documentation, check our FAQs, or contact our 24-7 technical support anytime. Thank you for your attention.